He said that they were a middle set. They're not. They're the same age, if not older than, the three that we've been seeing the whole time. We just didn't know that they existed, and they've been so skittish initially that we haven't got a good chance to see them. But to me, they are... There we go, hello. To me, they're actually bigger than the triplets that we thought were the ones that were born first. If not, it is very, very close in terms of age. <laughs> they're playing peekaboo with us. Look at them! The two cubs that we've hardly ever seen. Oh, come on, Amber Eyes. You can't be cross with two little cubs. Oh, they're so gorgeous. Hi, you two. <laughs> come say, come visit the carcass. Come see what's happening here with your cousins. And we finally managed to get ourselves some signal. We found ourselves in the perfect spot. And what absolutely a magical way to finish off our sunrise safari. Little cubs suckling on one side, full lionesses, amber eyes feeding away, sharing her personal space with two cubs that have their heads inside the buffalo jaw. <laughs> <laughs> How's that for an absolutely incredible image? And they're growling at each other. Already that instinct has kicked in. It goes to show how much of a lion's behavior is instinctive. Their natural reticence to approach a carcass and feed initially when the other lions are feeding, their fear of the males, and then the knowledge that they could comfortably approach, reading other, body, other lions' body language. They're only a couple of months old. Everything that we're seeing here is pure instinct. Sorry guys, here comes the male lion making his way down. I didn't see him initially. He is stopping to relieve himself and I'm trying to listen to the Game Drive channel again. I am so sorry. A Vernon Ephraim has pulled out. You're welcome to make your way in. Thank you for your space. Affirmative, that's going to be your best approach. Sorry guys, just chatting to Vernon on the Game Drive channel to let him know what his best approach is going to be. There's one little cub that's worrying me ever so slightly. And I'd noticed earlier that it was quite sleepy when we first got here. The little cub that's lying with the rest of the females, she, I think it's a she, not 100% sure, but does have a nasty limp. I don't know what kind of injury has been inflicted. Oh, here comes Amber Eyes and the male, looking at the male, standing by. A good point. I might have to squeeze past the other road that bits further to the south is now closed. So I might have to come back the way I came in. Uh, but you're welcome to pop in and then I will make a plan on the way out. Oh, there we go. Copy that, thank you. Sorry guys, it's a really tricky position to be in and being able to navigate around here is very, very difficult see how alert the lionesses are. And we only have just a few moments left with these lionesses. Look at that image of Amber Eyes, her face covered in gourd. 
and unfortunately we are running out of time to spend with these amazing lions but I'm glad that we got to bring you back into this sighting once again just to spend as much time as possible with these amazing little creatures and their mothers of course who were responsible for the meal that they have provided and so we're coming to the end of our sunrise safari and we have to say a very big thank you to Jandre for his fantastic camera work. We're going to not take you away or draw your eye away from this amazing scene. So a big thank you to Jandre for his fantastic camera work as well as to Rebecca and to Chelsea in Final Control. Now I am also saying my goodbyes on behalf of Brent so a big thank you to Dave as well. And from both of us the biggest thank you goes to all of you watching this live safari every day, twice a day. Hope you have had an amazing time and you're enjoying these closing images. We will be back here for the start of the sunset safari. Until then, enjoy the rest of your day.